Feast your peepers on these new orcs. <laughs> Bits. <laughs> hey, welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com, and we are back with some dope war game exclusive miniatures. I sent them a big shopping list of all the stuff I wanted to see, get my hot little hands and look at, and uh, have assembled, and just show you guys. And well, let's just say. We didn't get everything yet, but they're working on it. So we're just gonna show you some orc stuff today, even though they got a bunch of newer stuff already on their site, you know, with the COVID and everything out there, things are taking a little bit longer to kind of per per propagate, percolate out through all the mailing systems and to get stuff back to them. So, uh, you know, just be patient when you're ordering from anybody because it's affecting everyone and we're all kind of uh, in this together. Uh, fortunately slash unfortunately I suppose so let's uh let's jump over to site we're gonna focus on orcs today because they have a bunch of new orcs offerings that I think are pretty neat and you're probably gonna see some banners for some of the newer stuff that's uh, that hopefully we'll have here to show you uh, very soon as we uh, roll on into the late summer and early fall here at the studio now if you haven't been to wargameexclusive.com yet you really should just check it out there's a ton of miniatures over here just in general um it might not all be for you you know they got they got some ladies well uh, you know with uh maybe not as many coverings as you would personally want and they've got some ladies with some really good tasteful sculpted tops and armor plates and things like that so it kind of depends on what you're into on that side of like the artsy realm but they also have a lot of great counts as miniatures and a lot of things that you can use in your games your tabletop games or just some one-offs to paint and different things out there and you can see flashing on the screen some of the uh, some of their newer releases that are coming out here soon and some stuff that you might recognize from some uh, some pop culture shows that we saw uh, in the early fall of last year. So something else to be aware of if you're a game store owner and you're looking uh, to scoop up some new miniature lines. Well, they have you can click here to find it kind of find out more about payment shipping and handling. They, they have a, a wholesale program that you can order from. But this just kind of basically explains a lot of different things just in ordering overall free shipping orders over 200 euros i think that's about 233 dollars us right now i could be a little off um shipping's kind of hit or miss like i said still a little slow getting out of uh, eastern europe but um you know everything's getting better for the most part as far as i can tell i don't know and you know some emails and, and things like that if you have to contact them now we're going to look at some of the work stuff and everything's pretty well laid out here you know you can just click on it works and of course you can't see my mouse so there it is uh here's some of the new stuff like a, a police orc here wee -woo, wee -woo. <laughs> a little uh grot drone where he's kind of inflating the dude steroid grot i don't i don't know where they get this stuff from it's great uh then they've got some crew they go that are the same miniatures that come in uh the smasher uh, Canon things over here and Orc Wog TV, which I thought was just really kind of a, a fun, just you know, little thing to throw on, kind of on your your collection or on your uh, army uh, display board. Just maybe they're doing some interviews or something like that. You know, everybody everybody wants to get in on the, the whole like uh, live streaming thing these days, and it's because uh, why not? It's super fun. So that's uh, kind of what we're going to concentrate on in uh, this particular unboxing video. So let's jump over to the paint table and take a look at the models. So if you had never ordered from Wargame Exclusive before, they're basically the, the seller or the retailer for these Grim Skull miniatures, which are really well sculpted. They come in great packaging here. Uh, if you're a retailer, you know, you can always put your barcodes and things on the back of this. If this is something you want to carry at your store, uh, bigger, you know, kind of models are going to come in a little uh, with a base in there and a little baggie for some of the parts and things like that. But for the most part, you know, these pretty well secure um, bases or packaging and things like that but um, you know price point you know you may want to protect them on the shelves who knows but this is basically how they're gonna come I've never had one of these come in the mail damaged uh, as far as that goes now for box sets and things it gets a little different and we'll open up one of those once you get the sleeve off of this and then just open it up there's uh, you know gonna be some bubble wrap depending on how big the contents are and they're gonna come you know semi individually baggied as far as you know stuff like this goes that makes sense so you're gonna have some kind of main components and some of the larger pieces are gonna come probably not in a baggie but probably still just okay nonetheless and then the little individual grot duders are right there now as far as assembly 
and detail goes, well, generally for the most part, the detail isn't gonna get in the way of the assembly because here you can see on the main chassis, they've got all the nubs and the slots and things for you to kind of line up. Like I think a little grot goes in this can here and that's his uh, armored uh, kind of cupola sort of deal. And then the treads are gonna line up like this and oh, wrong one, something like this. Oh, yep, just like that. So there it is and you can tell I mean, very well detailed stuff here. Like, look at the crisp detail work all across there and then on into the little uh, Apple <laughs> computer right there with a large screen. I guess they were playing video games to them, but uh, they don't really know they're, they're fighting war or whatever, just like, kind of having fun. So, I mean, lots of components here as far as that goes. The grots are very cool and always... The grots are just fun to paint. They always have some sort of uh, little aesthetic or just some sort of little randomness. Like, this dude is has all sorts of different, I don't even know what that is. What is that back there? Some sort of spanner or something like that. And then you've got all sorts of uh, components and ammo things. So for the most part, I would imagine that these uh, tracks are shared across and then all the extra parts and the, the gubbins for uh, the main weapon is what is different between uh, the two kits that they offer right now. But as you can tell, I mean, for the price point, it's boutique resin, but it's very well done. Uh, it's very crisp and very well detailed. So let's get these guys together and show you just how fresh they look. Well, let's start off with some of the little duders. Now, remember the crew for these cannons are actually offered separately as a four pack. So here's, uh, well, one of the ones I just showed you right there, but the four pack is $8.99. Again, for four dudes, boutique resin, sweet, sweet, crisp resin details. I don't, I don't feel like that's too bad of a deal, personally. I love this guy with his little spanner and whatever that thing is back there. I'm still perplexed by it, but it looks pretty dope. These are very well detailed models and nice crisp. Oh, we already got cat here on this guy. Ugh. Can't take these cats anywhere. Or we can trap them on the patio when we try to record so they don't interrupt us. It's almost like they know when we are trying to work. All right, so here's a megaphone uh, shouty uh, little grot goblin duder, which I think is pretty swell. And then here's the other two. This guy was in the opening, we'll call him, we'll call him Eyes. He kind of looks like a little minion, I love it. <laughs> wee -woo, wee -woo. And this guy over here who's uh, ready to light, light the fire, he's got the spark, he's got the touch. It's pretty sweet looking too. Man, I tell you what, sometimes I wish I still played Wars. Uh, here's the WOG TV, now like I said, this is a nice little kind of character, characterful uh, diorama sort of thing. This is 9.99 euros, so I don't know, like 12, 12 bucks US, give or take, which I think is pretty cool, you know, it's like, He's just send it on a little bomb, like hosting a show or something, which we're definitely seeing more and more of these days, especially with the uh, the whole social isolation. Um, what was this guy? Oh, the the Grot Police on uh, on uh, Grot Squig or Police Squig. I imagine that's supposed to be a, a police siren or something like that. He's got a little billy club and a shoddy and just trying to keep all the uh, the little bad Grots in line. I love this guy. He's very, very dynamic and very cool looking. Uh, you can kind of see some of the gaps in here. You know, sometimes you definitely, it's hard with resin. Um, a lot of times the only way to patch stuff like that is uh, plastic putty. So you wanna make sure you get the best fit you can. Um, you can't use the thin glue. So nah, it's just, just something to be aware of right there. This guy looks uh, pretty sweet with his little shades and uh, everything going on right there, little aviators and stuff. And then the steroid, uh, steroid Gretchen or Grot is pretty hilarious. He's my strong hand. He's got like a whole box of, uh, I'm sure, uh, of syringes. I'm sure Fabius Bile would be proud. I don't know where he's supposed to stick all those. I guess one for each appendage and he's gonna get mildly huge, like maybe the smallest orc size, but the biggest Grot that, uh, that ever lived there. Just to get this all in the frame, but here is uh, the, what is this, a Track Smasher? I forget, or the, this is the Track Smasher. So. Track Smasher, not exactly the same as the Wield Smasher. It's gonna have a different top right here, but man, let me tell you what, and they have a different front. This is more like the Wagi front. A very similar style weapon, um, but for 29.99 euros, when I think the GW weapon kit, very similar styling, I suppose. Um, I mean, you just kind of put a bunch of bits on all together and you have work, so I don't know. It's not that hard to do. It's pretty pretty fun to be quite honest. This guy's very cool and you know size wise Let's uh, kind of compare him to something like oh, I don't know Maybe a Primaris you kind of get the idea that it is right about the same size as you would expect 
uh, something like this to be, but it's, uh, you know, you could switch out the tops here with lots of different work weapons if you really wanted to, but judging by the price, I feel like, I feel like it's pretty good. Oh, and here's how it compares to like a 60 mil base too. So if you have some spare bases, it'll definitely fit on a 60 mil just fine. And then the wheeled smasher, a little bit different. It's only got two wheels up front. Um, and then this little sort of PVC kind of piping and a little hidey spot for uh, the grots. And then this is how they have it. So they just basically slot in with the weapon and there's a little nub right there. So I don't know if they're gonna put out extra pieces at some point, but I mean, in theory, you don't have to glue this in. So if you wanted to do this like, um, some sort of uh, paint job or something like that, like armor plate, like red or yellow, and you wanted to do this more like a metallic, you definitely could and paint it separate. But I'm loving the little designs of like the, the, the little video game aesthetic back here and you know, all the other extra bits and things. So it's just a chain, chain link drive, okay. Because I don't even know what to say about that one. They're hilarious. So that is about all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching uh, this video showcasing the new Grim Skull designs for their orcs that uh, you can find over on Wargame Exclusive for sure. Um, make sure you check them out, wargameexclusive.com. Tons of new stuff all the time. Great catalog of miniatures, of the existing miniatures that have been around since like 2015, 2016, as far as I can remember going back right there. So that is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos.